Hey, Kim here from StampingImperfection.com. I have another two-minute quick tip just so you can get more out of your tools. This is one of the projects that um, my virtual club members are doing next month. And this is one of the things that the, anybody who's in my virtual club, they get my virtual club classes for free. Now you can purchase them separately, but the club members get these for free. This is one of the projects that they'll get. It's a two-pocket card. And I made a happy birthday card because my mother's birthday is coming up. But when I got all done, I felt like this was just, I used the labels collection frameless, and I felt like it was just too wide. I wish I could have shortened it up a little bit. So I want to show you how you can do that. So I'm using my um, Big Shot, and I'm using both tabs. I have the cutting plate down. I have my paper. I put my framelit on with the cutting side down, and I put my top note, or my top cutting pad in. Send it through. Okay, then I'm going to take it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this down a little bit, just like this. And try to line it up a little bit. And I'm just going to move it down a little tiny bit on the piece that I just cut out. And you can move it down as much as you want. Just like that. Try to center it a little bit. So I'm going to move it down. I'm going to put my cutting pad back on top. Now I could put a post-it note on top to keep it from moving, but I'm going to put this back in my Big Shot and send it through again. This is one of my Pinterest-inspired tips. Pinterest is fabulous. I don't even know where this came from. It was repinned so many times. but. When you're all done, you end up with a slightly different shape. Isn't that pretty? And a lot of times, let me put a, a different, a darker paper behind it. A lot of times I just want a slightly different shape. And I also feel like I could use this shape for something. Um, I'll figure it out, I guarantee. Especially if I do this a few times and I have a few of these left, that would make a really pretty little shape. So there's something that I can use on a card that's not the conventional shape, it's a little bit different, and a sentiment might fit without a, a little, like, I felt like this had a little too much white space, that would fit, fit perfectly there without too much white space. So that's another two-minute quick tip from StampingImperfection.com. Thanks for watching.